Welcome back, welcome back. This is Namaste Radio 99.5 FM and if you're watching us live on Namaste Radio's Facebook Live, welcome ji, welcome, welcome, good morning ji. And my little Punjabi accent is out of the way because now I am in the studio with two very good looking Punjabis. <laughs> And this is the time uh, and always my favorite time whenever I get to meet and talk to her. We have in studio with us Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel. And Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel is a kidney specialist. Uh, kidney Health Center. Se hain. Uh, she specializes in high blood pressure, kidney stones, dialysis, kidney transplant. Or unko aap koi bhi aapko questions hain, please unko reach out kar sakte hain. And today we have with us Hamari. Namaste Radio ki to doctor hain hi. Hamari official doctor. But I really, really admire for all the achievements in her life. So welcome again. Thank you. To <coughs> Namaste thank you, thank Radio. You. <laughs> thank you so much, Vanshika. And namaste to you all out there as well. Thank you for joining us today. Looking forward to really talking and chatting about, um, you know, a lot of what, whatever's going on in our community, in our world, actually. Yep. Especially with this pandemic. So. How have you been? That. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year to all our listeners as well and you guys. How was your New Year's and, uh, you know, overall, uh, things, do you think, do you, would you like to say things look better than last year's New Year or it's just Well, the yeah, things have definitely opened up. So, yes, there were parties, right, which is fine. Um, I know we, we went to a party. Everybody had to, for entrance, they did a rapid COVID test just mm-hmm. to get in. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're negative, you can go and you get a, you, you know, you get a ban that you're cleared, you're COVID negative. <laughs> so, um, but things are opened up that way. Socially, of course, everything's almost back to normal. Um, the variant and the pandemic, however, is just going to go up and down and up and down. Up so, and, I see. Yeah, it's, we're not, we're not clear yet from, from the pandemic. So since you've mentioned the pandemic, since you've uh, mentioned the variant, so the latest variant the Omicron. Uh, tell us something about that. What is the latest on uh, the COVID variant? So Omicron, in some way, people say it's a blessing in disguise uh, because it's not um, It's not that, uh, it's very contagious mm-hmm. and more and more people are showing symptoms within two or three days of exposure to anybody with, with COVID. I'm seeing a lot of silent um, carriers as well. Uh, but you know it's 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 not as bad as the pneumonia mm-hmm. COVID, uh, the COVID nineteen that that first came out because that would go deep in the lungs and cause this terrible scar tissue. I mean, I I know people who are still after eight months trying; they're not back to normal. Oh, uh, like they cannot exercise back to normal. Their pulmonary function uh, is almost down to fifty percent. So whether it'll stay that way or they'll get better with time, it's just a lot of um, um, it's it's a lot of physical therapy of your inside of your body too, mm-hmm. not just outside right uh, but on the other on the other hand this omicron is milder um, and it's a lot of more uh, allergic um, you know uh, I guess symptoms mm-hmm. um, you know you get watery eyes you react, people actually thought they have they have allergies yeah right they're taking allegra they're taking and that's really all you can do um, you don't see a lot of cough with this you do see muscle muscle aches and pain um, some fever mild fever but but it's not not going down under the throat so you get sore throat you like but just just like you would have any kind of just upper respiratory infection and it's um, like so, this is like a normal thing like <clears throat> <laughs> hoti rati hai. <laughs> hoti rati. and on top of that like so people don't know they wouldn't think of covid mm-hmm. they'll say oh i just it's just allergies right how many times you've heard that oh maybe i have allergies <laughs> okay, yeah um, so so that is probably why it, that's a factor and why it's spreading so fast too I see. Um, so it's more, and of course, really now everything's contagious. opened up. Yeah. yeah. So it is way more contagious than the previous yes. uh, variants? Right. Yeah. Okay. Within, and, and you will see these symptoms within two days versus the other variants were taking almost five to seven days to see symptoms. I see. Okay. Uh, Sushil, I know you had uh, uh, the next uh, question for Dr. Namrata here. Absolutely. So, uh, uh, um, so we'll a uh, lot of lot of things to uh, to you know to get from you about the uh, the new uh, variant itself the one of the other questions uh, that i know i get to hear a lot is a lot of people say uh, dr namrata that uh, you know humne already vaccine le chuke right so we've already been vaccinated so why do we need to uh, get a booster shot again um, i have especially uh, you know people at work they keep on asking this question Sean, i've already been vaccinated so why do i need to get another booster so right. what's the what's so, the so you know as, as you as you all know these boosters i mean these vaccines are new right pfizer just made it 2 years ago i, I don't think anybody really knows how many boosters do we need mm-hmm. I, there's a possibility you're going to need a booster every 6 months 
Oh, till no. we're done with this pandemic. Are yeah. you serious? Yes. And and because studies show now, Israel is already doing a study where they are doing the fourth shot and they're clearing, clearing the fourth shot uh, or the fourth the second booster, I guess you can say, after the primary series <laughs> on patients that are over 65 or immunocompromised. So their citizens are already getting that. Oh. Uh, and studies have shown that your uh, the antibody response is just almost tenfold um, against COVID. Mm -hmm. okay? So you may just... It's again. It's like a seatbelt. Doesn't prevent you from getting hit, right? Yes. But it will save your life, right? And and, I, and everybody has these questions. Like, oh, well, we don't know. We I still have patients who never took the vaccine, and now they're all getting coming in with COVID. Oh. Um, and of course, they're like, we don't know what, what's in this vaccine. But hey, you know what? I don't know. As I, I read this, you know, with somebody else, they're like, well, I don't know what I'm eating in half of these restaurants either, but I'm still going to eat it yeah, because exactly. it tastes good and it's going to, you know, or I don't know what's in every vitamin that we take, right? Yeah. We would take multivitamins, but it's good for you. And, and, that's what, and that's what it is. We didn't question all the vaccines when we were born because we needed it. We didn't yeah. want to die. We, you know, we didn't, want the, we didn't want measles or mumps and polio. Yeah. So why we took those vaccines. So if you don't want COVID, you don't want to get too sick from COVID, then please get your vaccines and, and, and get your booster. And are you hearing a lot of the, these symptoms, like, you know, the post booster, like, oh, hey, our next day, like I was really down after my second shot and my booster. But there are people I've met, they're like, oh, we just had a little bit of Yeah, luckily me too. I, I didn't have any, I just had some muscle pain. Um, and and with the, probably the third one with the booster, I had, I did have headaches okay. for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I will take the headaches for two days over COVID, <laughs> COVID yeah. pneumonia COVID. any day. So it's it's fine. Yeah, and yeah, it depends on the on the person too. Some people, you know, have no no symptoms at all, even from Moderna. Mm -hmm. uh, like my mother in law had, and she 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 took she took Moderna, and she she did fine. She tolerated fine. Of course, she's older, so. Um, I see. So it just depends on the on the person. Yeah, and a lot of times, uh, like you know, I I had those symptoms after Moderna, but some people didn't have anything after Pfizer. But I still I know people who had it even after Pfizer. So so many times you keep saying, "Acha Pfizer lilo to koi kuch nahi dard hota, fever nahi hoga." But I guess it just depends on body, right? Like different. Exactly. You know, yeah. uh, um, coming to uh, Pfizer and, and Moderna, and and the, the, there's this question that 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 somebody asked me, and I I said, you know what? Let me ask you. I don't have an answer for that. So a lot of people there, what they're asking right now is, uh, you know, we have Moderna vaccine le chuke, right? And some people are saying that we have taken Pfizer, uh, but can they switch the booster shot? Yes, you can. Uh, you can switch your booster shot if you've gotten the first two shots of Moderna. Many people are taking the 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 Pfizer as their third shot. If you specifically, oh, I know somebody who's very, very sick uh, with COVID on the ventilator in the hospital, and he only had taken the one J and J shot. Oh, Johnson Johnson. Johnson Johnson. Not and because a lot of people are like, oh, I'll just do that when they came out. But they Johnson and Johnson always told us that we're only we're only going to protect you sixty percent mm -hmm. or seventy percent. Mm -hmm. we, we knew it was not going to be hundred percent. So I'm not surprised. And these patients are very, very sick. So please, if you've also gotten just one Johnson & Johnson, please get a booster, not with Johnson & Johnson. Get a Pfizer or Moderna booster. But that is what's going to protect you and save your life. You don't want to be on the ventilator. Absolutely. And we don't know if this patient is going to survive. And he's only 53 years old. Absolutely. Oh, so go get those booster shots jitni jaldi ho sake. On that note, we're going to take a quick song break. Stay tuned. We have a lot more in conversation with Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel. Yeah. 
चन्नावे Dr. Namrata, while we took that song break, we had uh, Mr. Abhay ask us that will it protect against Omicron, the booster? Yes, yes, the booster will protect you against all variants of COVID, uh, Omicron, Delta. Uh, there's a new one I, in France. Did you guys hear about that? I, Delta Cron or something? Oh, Delta like, Cron. Yes, yes. It's like a mix of so it it will protect you uh, from all of these, and that's why it's important to get it now, the booster, during when we're we have spike in cases. I mean, we're on another fourth or fifth. Um, a uh, surge mm-hmm. right now in Houston mm-hmm. so and this will continue for a couple of months so please get your boosters and we have another question <coughs> that somebody has taken one shot and uh, they have not taken the second dose but can they directly get the booster or they have to take a second dose and then get the booster i i would recommend getting the second dose the booster is half a dose from what i believe it's not the full dose mm-hmm. so please get the second the second dose and uh, uh, the one shot if uh, she was talking about is if you had got the johnson johnson one shot which is only one shot so then you can get any booster which is uh, either moderna or uh, pfizer that's yes. what she was saying yes. yeah so uh, social what's the next question and a v- i think it's a very important question so so we keep we hear this we have a lot of friends who have kids small kids especially so the adults is you know what that's fine we have our vaccines but what about our children So children um if FDA approved uh for uh, vaccines for over 5 years old um and now it's been out for about 2 3 months so if you're over 5 or you have children that are over 5 plus uh even if they're healthy and you know we want them to be healthy uh they are uh, giving them the Pfizer shot not the Moderna yet for over 5 mm-hmm. um it's uh they I think Moderna is available for over 12 um uh, but between 5 and 11 uh Pfizer is available um at, at, at Texas Children's Hospital a Methodist hospitals uh to, you know at, at all of their locations uh are giving are giving it to kids so yes and it is safe all my children are vaccinated even my 5 year old my 8 year old my 12 year old Uh, my 12 year old has actually already gotten the booster. Oh wow. Yeah, I got her the booster yesterday. So, uh I, I and honestly it's a big sign of relief because you know, children children can be careful, but they want to socialize and they play sports. Yeah. Uh I've had some doctor friends who have gotten COVID exposure because they're their child soccer team. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. but you but you, you cannot stop them and neither do you want to keep them home, right? You don't want to give them depression. Yeah. So, they're going to be active, they're going to be uh in in basketball or they're going to, you know, and and those are close contact sports, you know. Yes. So, uh you want them you want them protected. And even like a 6 or 7 year old, you know, you send them to school with a mask, yeah. but how long sometimes you know they're going to keep it, yeah, right? Yeah, and and they're going to, you know, rub their eyes yeah. like my 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 child does or you know, they would they yeah. always have a, they always have a runny nose anyway, so <laughs> they just yeah. don't. You know, so you don't. so gr- great question and great answer there. Go get those, uh, uh, you know, vaccines or booster for your kids. It's very, very, very important. And खुद उन्होंने, you know, doctor Namrata ने अपने तीन बच्चों को लगवाया है. So very important. Go get that done. Now, uh, doctor Namrata, uh, adding on uh, to the uh, COVID situation here. This you you touched a little bit on this this Omicron they saying is like you know blessing in disguise and so a lot of people are saying that it's like the end of the uh, pandemic the endemic um, is it like really really true for uh, you know just to emphasize again on this and peop- just because people say it's not too severe ठीक है हो जाए हमें हमें नहीं लेना booster you know like wh- what do you have to say to people like that like I- Honestly, I am seeing patients with COVID that are even boost they have a booster. Mm-hmm. Uh if you got your booster even back in August, I am not going to be surprised if it's time for another shot. Mm-hmm. Um I, they haven't approved it in America yet. Um but I think they have for if you're really overly immunocompromised and your booster's over 6 months mm-hmm. um then if you're and you're over 65 um I have a I have a feeling they're going to come out pretty soon uh most pharmacies saying give get a four, four shot four um shots. so again I am seeing patients with booster also they're not as sick uh but they are you know they have other things going on they're either on dialysis or they're immunocompromised or they even diabetes on insulin mm-hmm. uh so these patients are coming in they're not as sick and they're not maybe 2% of the whole population of covid in the hospital right uh but and majority 75% of the covid that we're seeing in the hospital are unvaccinated patients 
those those are actually in the hospital. They're in the ICU. They're in the ventilator. Um, um, you know, some are just on on just high dose um, or high level of oxygen, and we just can't get them down. Uh, to get oxygen off of them. You know, oh. yes, they're alive and they're talking and they're walking, mm -hmm. but they're oxygen dependent. They're carrying a tank with them and they're going home with these oxygen tanks mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. months. So, you know, if you don't want to, and their lungs are never going to be the same. Yeah. Oh my. But uh, yes, so as, uh, You know, don't take it light. Uh, don't just be कि ठीक है मुझे booster नहीं चाहिए या मुझे vaccine नहीं चाहिए just because Omicron is just like you know uh, hitting you all a little lighter compared to the exactly. other variants. Right. Uh, it's there. Be careful and. You can still be a carrier, so maybe it may not affect you, but it can affect someone else. You give it out. And to, right? honestly, the only way we're going to be ending this pandemic is if everybody is vaccinated, Absolutely. because then this virus is not going to be transmitted to people. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you're just being a you're being a silent serial killer. Yeah. Right. You know, you don't know you're even killing people, and you're doing it silently. Do you really want to have that guilt trip? Exactly. So, so please get vaccinated. It's important, and and don't do the Johnson and Johnson. It's not worth it. You know, and if you've already done it. Please get your booster. Absolutely. So, thank you so much for that information. Uh, before we move on to the, um, you know, the specializing, uh, like Dr. Namrata uh, specializes in kidney. So, before we move on to that, I we want to thank. Uh, क्योंकि इतनी थोड़ा यू नो हेल्थ की बात हो रही है वो तो थोड़ा भगवान को याद कर लेते हैं आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक डॉक्टर गौरी सिद्धि विधायक टेम्पल ऑफ ह्यूस्टन फॉर ऑलवेज सपोर्टिंग नमस्ते रेडियो एंड ब्लेसिंग अस सो थैंक यू पंडित प्रदीप पांड्या जी दे आर लोकेटेड एट फाइव सिक्स फोर फाइव हिल क्रॉफ्ट एवेन्यू स्वीट सेवन जीरो वन द नंबर फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ पूजा आपको करानी है घर पे कुछ भी आपको बेबी शावर हो शादी करानी है गृह प्रवेश कराना है और यू वॉन्ट गो विजिट द टेम्पल कॉल पंडित प्रदीप पांडे जीट एट थ्री टू फोर सिक्स सिक्स नाइन एट सिक्स एट एंड फॉलो गौरी सिद्धि विनायक टेम्पल ऑन फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम टाइम हो गया है इलेवन ट्वेंटी वन Uh, let's get into our next question with uh, Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel, and then we will uh, take a little uh, song break, and then we'll be back. Two questions, uh, Dr. Namrata. Yes. I know be because as the virus is evolving, uh, the guidelines keep on changing by CDC. Initially, I know uh, I think two years back, yeah, last year guidelines say that you have to stay home for like ten days or fourteen days, right? If you are non-vaccinated or vaccinated, you get COVID. I know that recently they have uh, CDC has come up with some new guidelines, and what are those guidelines if you get Omicron? So if you get Omicron, they're saying now, if you have to go to work, especially healthcare workers, we have to be back in five days. Um, Only healthcare if, if workers. Healthcare workers have to be back in five days. It really de it depends on your workplace. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they're not even recommending coming back with a negative COVID test. Um, so five days, seven days, I say the longer the better. But if you have to go to work, and of course, everybody needs that paycheck. Um, at least minimum of five days, please quarantine, stay home. Uh, it is very um, infectious. Um, so at least if you have no symptoms. And a lot of people are feeling better with Omicron in a few days. Um, definitely overnight or even two days, uh, they feel better. Uh, but, but, you know, even then, if you feel better, at least stay home for five days and, and quarantine yourself. Don't go to the grocery store or anything like that either. Um, and then you should be good to go. You don't have to do another test, a COVID test. I see people have a lot of <laughs> questions, and um, you know, um, I'll go to this one question from Radha Ji. Uh, she says, uh, "Any research on how long immunity lasts after getting COVID? Like, if somebody has a COVID, how how long is the immunity for?" I, I think what people know for sure is um, about two three months. Mm -hmm. If you've had COVID, uh, then you should be okay. They're actually um, uh, not even letting you get the vaccine for three months. Um, it, but honestly, I've, I also know patients who've gotten the vaccine even um, two, three weeks after getting COVID and they've done fine. Uh, again, you can have COVID again and again and again. Wow. And if you, you know, if you weren't so sick this first time, you may get sicker the second time. Mm. So, yes, you can have multiple COVIDs. I know I, I've also seen patients on their third COVID now. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they're not doing well. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, that's really crazy, you know. Sometimes and they're just stubborn. Again, the same thing. Oh, I'm protected. I've got yeah. COVID. It wasn't too bad. I've heard it all. But again, just because it wasn't too bad the first time doesn't mean it won't be. It, it cannot be so bad the next yeah. time. And you know this is the reason every time when Dr. Namrata comes on the radio, we we get to hear these uh, real facts. Is because a lot of time we you know who are not in the hospitals, yeah, हम लोग बात करते रहते हैं अरे कुछ नहीं हो रहा है कुछ नहीं हो रहा है it's all okay. But when you talk to a doctor, you get to know the reality, what they are seeing in hospitals, their clinics, and uh, it is mind-boggling. So. 
guys, please be careful out there. Get your boosters, like she's been saying. Um, on this note, we'll get into a song. एंड uh, अगर जो लोग डॉक्टर नम्रता को जानते हैं एंड जो लोग उन्हें अभी फेसबुक लाइव में भी देख रहे हैं वी ऑल नो शी सच अ प्रिटी वुमेन सो दिस सॉन्ग इज फॉर यू ये आपके लिए मैंने जिसे अभी अभी देखा है कौन है वो अनजानी से जितना देखू उतना सोचू क्या उसे मैं कह दू मैंने जिसे अभी अभी देखा है कौन है वो अनजानी जिसे अभी अभी देखा है कौन है वो अनजानी वो है कोई कलिया कोई किरण या है कोई कहानी उसे जितना देखूं उतना सोचू क्या उसे मैं कह दू प्रोडी वुमानी वुमान देखो देखो ना प्रोडी वुमान प्रोडी वुमान देखते हो ना प्रोडी वुमान Pretty woman, तुम भी कहो ना pretty woman. Oh, मैंने जिसे अभी अभी देखा है कौन है वो अनजानी? वो है कोई कलिया, कोई किरण, या है कोई कहानी? उसे जितना देखूं उतना सोचूं क्या उसे मैं कह दूं? Pretty woman, देखो देखो ना pretty woman. Pretty woman, देखते हो ना. That's right, pretty woman. Uh, Doctor Namrata Sharma Goel giving us <clears throat> lot of insights on uh, actually very serious and important talk on COVID. Manchika, that song goes for you too, by the way, <laughs> not just me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure so, so she will agree. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he. Arey, ham dono ke he should agree. So. Um, You were saying something off air about yeah. a, a very, uh, you know, uh, you know. Interestingly, um, I, I, the the amount of COVID I'm seeing that's now in the hospital is much more than I saw even with the the original COVID nineteen pneumonia or Delta or the of the other variants. I mean, I, I and I was telling Vanchika that around seventy five percent of my patients. Around the city, in every hospital, seventy-five percent in the hospital are COVID. Oh. Of my census, of my patients, um, you know, so that's a lot. I mean, even I, I'm even I'm shocked, mm-hmm. you know, because and I and believe me, they are mostly unvaccinated. They are oh. some vaccinated, but again, those patients are taking medicines to decrease their immunity for other reasons, like mm-hmm. transplant patients, or mm-hmm. or you know, or patients with psoriasis or anything. They're taking these immunomodulating drugs that. Uh, that need to protect them for for to so that they don't you know reject their transplant, mm-hmm. but obviously they're also rejecting the medication or the vaccine. So so they're they're you know they mm-hmm. they are you know more immunocompromised. That's why I, I think they should get the fourth shot too at this point. At this point, okay. And okay. yes, I, there's a question that oh my god, too many shots. Is there no other way? Honestly, no. There's no other way. I mean, if it's just a shot it, that's going to save your life. I think it's worth it, right? It's like a seat belt, like I said. It doesn't mean yeah. that you're not going to get somebody's not going to hit your car, but it is life saving. It is life saving, absolutely. Now moving towards uh, Dr. Namrata's uh, specialty, which is nephrology, which is the uh, which is kidneys. Yes, basically. study of kidneys. Yes, study of kidneys. So, uh, social. Uh, How about you start with your question? Uh, so, so uh, uh, earlier, uh, Doctor Namrata, you mentioned uh, COVID and uh, people with uh, um, immune diseases, right? Autoimmune diseases, um, or, or 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 some people you know who are whose immune system is compromised. Right. Um, I I I have a question is because I was talking to a friend of mine. I saw him after a long time. He's a fit guy, just like you, healthy guy. I mean, fit, works out. And he was telling me the other day that he collapsed. While he was working out actually in the gym, or yeah, gym se bahar nikal raha tha. And a very young looking guy. And I asked him, "Kya hua?" He said, "I don't know what happened. I just collapsed, and then later I found out that I have high blood pressure issues." Okay. So, uh, so I asked him. I said, "Kabhi theko pata nahi laga ki how come you couldn't? You know, there was no symptoms that you." He said, "I don't know what to look for." So, 
So how do people find out or what are the early signs that somebody has actually high blood pressure? So the early signs of high blood pressure that, you know, you should kind of look for is there are two signs. One, headaches. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're having these daily headaches um, and or, you know, really sharp shooting pain headaches, um, it could be your blood pressure. So do definitely check your blood pressure. Also, vision changes. If you have glasses or you wear glasses or contacts and you feel like, my vision is not the same as it was a few months ago or a year ago. And abhi bhi birthday jari. And I know we're always on our phones and iPads, but still, mm -hmm. you know, there comes at an age where uh, your vision should kind of stay stable. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because as we grow, you know, in our teens and all that, our vision, our vision will get worse because we're still studying. Um, so, so those two things. If you feel like your vision ch is changing, um, that can also be affected by high blood pressure. Oh, yeah. So, so look for those two things: headaches and vision changes. And and other than that, honestly. People have no symptoms and, and they can just go to the doctor one day and say and find out a blood pressure of 200. They're like, doc, I had no idea. Because again, high, hypertension or high blood pressure is also another silent, silent killer. killer. Yeah. And we do see a lot of that in our uh, Desi people, right? Yes. I mean, patients go to the hospital for the first time with a stroke. Oh. And a blood pressure of 230 systolic, which is the top number. Uh, that's very important. Uh, so look at the top number. That's very important. I know they always look at the bottom number. Okay, oh, middle, bottom, higher. It's okay. Most people, their the top number is very, very diagnostic of, of systolic hypertension. I see. I see. So uh, be uh, careful. <coughs> Keep a check on your blood pressure. Check karwate rehna chahiye, right? Yes. And, and as for your friend, you know, if he knew he had high blood pressure, he should take something or relax and not work out when the blood pressure is uncontrolled because that can make it even higher and, and things like, he, you know, like collapse or even a heart attack mm -hmm. can happen. So it's, it's not advisable to uh, exercise if your blood pressure is not controlled. So my friend, if you're listening to the show, um, the, the answer is directed to you, by the way. And come I'm see me Namrata for your blood pressure. Goal. Yes. Absolutely. Come yeah. make an appointment. Visit Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel. Uh, we will be giving out the information for appointments uh, very shortly. Like, uh, moving on to the next question, um, Dr. Namrata, what is uh, pregnancy-induced uh, hypertension? Since we're talking about, you know, hypertension, blood pressure. So pregnancy-induced hypertension is when you're diagnosed with high blood pressure after 20 weeks in, in your pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, that means you have high blood pressure because of the, of the stress that, you know, the pregnancy is causing on your body. And usually uh, after delivery, uh, about three, four weeks later, or even a month or six weeks, um, your blood pressure should go back down to normal. So the only treatment for that high blood pressure is obviously medications during pregnancy. But you, once you deliver, um, then that blood pressure should go back to normal in most cases. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have... Um, you know, a family history of high blood pressure or your mother or father have high blood pressure, then your blood pressure may not go down after. Uh, but again, weight loss is important. Exercise, you know, sweating all that namak jo hum khate hain, chaat masala. Because, you know, high salt, um, we're eating a lot of salt. Yeah. Uh, and that's where, you know, obviously high blood pressure So we from. see a lot of this pregnancy uh, induced hypertension <laughs> in Indian women? We see it some in Indian women, mm -hmm. yes, uh, and we see it, uh, of course, a lot of lot in, in my Hispanic patients as well. I see. Uh, I don't see it in a lot of Asians, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but yes, you know, we, we, do. we do. We do see it in Indians, yes. Okay. On this note, I'm going to take a short ad break. Uh, when we come back, we will talk more about all these things with Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel. Stay tuned. This is Namaste Radio. तुम कभी जीत नहीं पाए क्योंकि तुम हमेशा मुझे हराने की सोचते थे. और मैं कभी हारा नहीं क्योंकि मैं हमेशा जीतने की सोचता था आज भी मुझे हराने की कोशिश में तुम खुद हारे हो दिस इज नमस्ते रेडियो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वी प्रेजेंट यू हबीबी किचन the most delicious Mediterranean cuisine in the heart of Sugarland. Habibi Kitchen brings very tasty food that will give your taste buds a cultural experience. Prepared with fresh ingredients every day. All options available, non-veg, wedge and even vegan. Beautiful outdoor seating in our covered patio. Visit Habibi Kitchen today. Located at 16227 Lexington Boulevard. Call 832-999-4161. That's 832-999. 4161 or visit habibikitchen.com follow habibikitchen
Kitchen on Facebook for specials. And don't forget to mention Namaste Radio. Navigating the complex world of health insurance can be frustrating. So why wait? Call an expert today. We present to you Simple Choice Insurance Brokerage. Call them today and get a health plan that fits the way you and your family lives. Simple Choice offers affordable health insurance for you and for the people you love. Simple Choice will make this easy for you. They will assist you through the process of selection and utilization of your benefits. Simple Choice provides excellent service. Want to learn more about individual plans, Medicare, dental, vision? Call Simple Choice today. Get a head start on your 2022 health insurance. Visit www.simplechoiceib.com slash namaste or call 832-626-626. 7791. That's 832-626-7791. Follow Simple Choice Insurance Brokerage on Facebook and Instagram. Gauri Siddhi Vinayak Temple of Houston Aap sab ko amantrit karta hai Hindu wedding ceremony ho ya engagement Satya Narayan puja ho ya Gayatri Havan Baby shower puja ho ya Vastu Shanti Lakshmi puja ho ya Ganpati puja ya jeevan mein sirf positivity lani ho Aaj hi call kare Pandit Pradeep Pandya ji ko 832-466-9868 Gauri Siddhi Vinayak Temple located hai 5645 Hillcroft Avenue Suite 701 pe Details ke liye follow kare Gauri Siddhi Vinayak Temple Facebook pe To aaj ही कॉल करें पंडित प्रदीप पांड्या जी को 8324669868 जय श्री गणेश गणपति नमो नमः श्री सिद्धि विनायक नमो नमः This is the holiday season from Lake Jackson to spring families are planning a night at Ollie's hot food smiling faces and mocktails to delight Ollie's brings the holiday spirit and does it just right Dine in or take out or on DoorDash if you wish. Scrumptious Allings classics like crispy beef or sizzling fish. Office party, family dinner or a night on the town. Allings has a table for you. Come gather round. Halal menu available? Visit AllingsChinese.com No, 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 no. In the big countries, there are small things that happen. You're listening to Namaste Radio. जी हाँ बड़े बड़े देशों में ऐसी छोटी छोटी बातें होती रहती हैं और फिलहाल ये जो हो रहा है वो है नमस्ते रेडियो वेलकम बैक वी हैव अबाउट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स मोर टूवर्ड्स आर शो बट बिफोर वी गेट इन टू आर टॉकिंग डॉक्टर नम्रता शर्मा गोयल अगेन एक जगह है जिसके बारे में हमने बात की थी लेकिन आलिंग्स चाइनीज क्विजीन वो ऐसी जगह है कि उसके बारे में बार बार बात करनी है सो so, Go out, बहुत ही बढ़िया इंडो चाइनीज है वी लव इट डॉक्टर नम्रता यू लाइक आलिंग्स आई नो दैट आई लव इट आई लव इट बट यू नो बट इट कैन रेज योर ब्लड प्रेशर बट इट्स टेस्टी आई लाइक दैट इट कैन रेज योर ब्लड प्रेशर बट इट इज टेस्टी सो ठीक है थोड़ा बहुत रिस्क लाइफ में चलता है बट येस आलिंग्स चाइनीज क्विजीन फॉलो दम ऑन फेसबुक इंस्टाग्राम फॉर ऑल द डिटेल्स एंड गो इन्जॉय डाइन इन करिए टेकआउट करिए या कोई भी आपके घर पर या आपकी कोई इवेंट है Don't forget Aling's Chinese cuisine. Um, moving forward, we have been in conversation with Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel, uh, a nephrologist, kidney specialist. So, talking about kidneys now, um, great insights on uh, hypertension and and these are things जो हम देशियों को बड़ी होती है तो that's why we thought you know आज Dr. Namrata आई हैं तो इनसे बात करेंगे. Now the f- आपने signs of uh, uh, high blood pressure सब बता रहे थे. How about uh, first sign of a kidney disease? Okay. Uh, That's a very good question, yeah. Chika. Very excellent question. Um, so the first sign of a kidney disease, believe it or not, is early protein in the urine. Oh, yeah. So even in pregnancy, you know, every time if you're pregnant, uh, and you guys know this, these, the girls. I'm sorry, you girls know this. Um, <laughs> you know, men are clueless. Uh, you know, you, your doctor will, after, especially after like 15 or 20 weeks, will ask you for a urine specimen every time you go see the doctor uh-huh. if you're pregnant over 20 weeks, and that's to see if you're leaking protein in the urine, oh. uh, because. 
in, like in pregnancy induced hypertension um, or other like preeclampsia where your blood pressure goes up, you can you can leak a lot of protein. So it's very, very important um, to monitor that and go to your doctor regularly, watch your blood pressure, stay active even in pregnancy. Even if you're not pregnant, stay active, right? Cardio really works. Uh, so you're sweating out all that namak that I mentioned that we do. And khane mein to hota hai, right? I mean, you're not, you're not going to live... Uh, eating nothing, right? Mm-hmm. We, we, we want to enjoy our life. Right. But we want to enjoy our life uh, until we're 80 and 90, right? We're not exercising today for today. We're exercising for our, our 60s or our 70s or our later so that we're healthier in our in our older age. Um, you know, obviously now everyone, oh, I'm at the young goo, I'm good, I'm 30-something, I'm fine. But again, you're doing it for when you're 60, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so protein in the urine is the first sign of kidney damage. There should be no protein in the urine. Um, sometimes with heavy lifting, like body lifting, you can have protein, but that should not be consistent. So if you have consistent protein in the urine, um, I just you know make an appointment with me, uh, and and we'll monitor that protein because that. The, those holes in the kidney are going to get bigger and bigger and bigger if you don't monitor your blood pressure, uh, and then you're going to have a lot more problems, like you know swelling, um, higher blood pressure. Mm-hmm. It's called nephrotic syndrome. Um, so we we need to we need to monitor that closely. So, Ajkal, that we take those extra protein, like because of our keto diet and all, does that add to it, like protein shake? If you and already all those- have high blood pressure and kidney problems. Um, you know, don't overdo it, but I don't think, I mean, unless, I mean, and overdoing it is like 180 milligrams uh, of, um, 180 grams, I'm sorry, of protein a day. So, you know, if you're eating whatever your body weight is, let's say you're 70 kilograms on an average person, if you're eating around 70 um, to 100 grams of protein a day, uh, that's good. That That's sufficient. That's fine. That, okay. For you. okay. So uh, that's, that's a big, uh, you know, a point that we need to remember. In the aap se aaj baat karke, I've been realizing uh, pregnancy causes a lot of issues. Right. Huh? <laughs> 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 Once you get dark, <laughs> Pregnancy <laughs> does, it, it puts a lot of um, a, a toll on your body. Um, so I, you know, believe it or not, when she got, I was on that treadmill every day. <laughs> my mom will vouch for it, even though she didn't like that. But even till my ninth month or eighth month, I was on that treadmill every day. And you have three to, kids, three beautiful yeah. babies. Yes. Yeah. Not they're not so babies anymore, but yes. Twelve babies. <laughs> At least the youngest one is. Uh, but uh, so. Guys, be careful, be vigilant, you know, and you always have, uh, you know, talk to the doctor, talk to the expert. They are there for you, you know, to take care of you. So that's why we have these questions. And if you have any you know, Facebook Live pe bhi question, nahi hai, if there's any time a question you want to reach out to Dr. Namrata, you can also message on Namaste Radio and we can reach out, connect you all. So I'm just giving an option out there. She's always been very kind in uh, not only helping people in the you know a hospital or a clinic setting but anytime anybody reaches out to her uh, uh, inka you know she has a heart of gold she's always reached out helped covid ke time pe i know how many times she's helped people personally mujhe pata hai so thank you for all of that and thank you for everything that you thank do thank you and I, it's my duty but you know I, I i love you all out there even if i don't i don't know half of you or more than half of you but please be safe um, and and of course call me anytime uh, come see me we we also are doing virtual appointments um um, for, for patients who can't drive or, or who don't want to um, take that risk of coming to a clinic. Uh, we understand that. Um, of course, we only wear masks uh, in our clinic mm-hmm. um, and, and we check temperatures for everybody coming in, uh, even visitors. Um, so, and we ask all the COVID questions beforehand. So, um, you are safe to go to the, my, come to my clinic, but you can also do virtual visits. And we take all major insurances and we take Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, and if, even if you don't have insurance, uh, we have payment plans. Perfect. So let's get into our uh, song. We'll be back. We have more to talk with Dr. Namruta Sharma Goel. Jaye Gane Namaste Radio. I'm coming like a butcher. Hi, how are you? Put me like a butcher, how do you do? I can be like a butcher, hi, how are you? Put me like a butcher, how do you do? Style pisky, smile pisky, hi, to be at the barkey, shahariki, larkey. Le 
लड़की मस्ती में घूमे घूमे गाइज डोंट फिगेट ओपन एनरोलमेंट एंड टूडे और अगर आपने इंश्योरेंस नहीं लिया है सो मेक श्योर दैट यू गाइज चेक आउट अ सिंपल चॉइस ब्रोकरेज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हेल्थ केयर इन दिस कंट्री इज द नंबर वन एंड द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ केयर दैट इज प्रोवाइडेड एंड दैट्स वाई कैन गेट एक्सपेंसिव सो ऑफ कॉर्स गाइज डोंट फिगेट दैट इंश्योरेंस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज दी आर ऑफ पॉकेट कॉस्ट गोज अ वेरी हाई अगर आपको डॉक्टर नमिता शर्मा गोयल को भी मिलना है शी डज एक्सेप्ट इंश्योरेंस एंड शी डज एव कैश प्लान इज वेल सो गाइज Make sure that if you haven't signed up for insurance today is your last day. Visit Simple Choice. He is the guy. He has helped us save money as well, and a lot of other people that we know. And he might be the right person to save you money as well. So check them out at www. simple choice ib. com slash namaste, or you can give him a call today at eight three two six two six seven seven nine one. In conversation with Dr. Namita Sharma Goel, and uh, I just have one thing to add that mm. uh, Mr. Lakwinton, the CEO of Simple Choice Insurance Brokerage, just told me that they will be open till eleven p.m. today. So today is the last day for your open enrollment. Reach out to them. एक बार आप अगर नंबर फिर से दे सकते हैं Simple Choice uh, Insurance Brokerage का, so that will be really wonderful. Absolutely. So if you're one of those late Latifs, today is your last day to be late Latif. <laughs> Number is eight three two six two six seven seven nine one. Do it today. Ya pure saal dar dar ke me jio ki agar COVID ho gaya, hospital me admit hona pada to kharcha kon dega. So guys, very important. Get insurance today. Eight three two six two six seven seven nine one. That simple choice, Mr. Lakwinton James. In conversation with Dr. Namita Sharma Goel. Uh, Dr. Namita, uh, one question that I that has always bothered me is uh, I always believe I'm I'm a very informative person and I try to. Uh, my general knowledge is definitely better than other people. That's what I like to believe. But some things even I don't know, which is uh, I don't think we Desis think uh, that uh, kidney is very vital, or maybe we don't know what exactly the kidney important is. Its functions, etc. That's one. The other thing is what are uh, what causes kidney diseases actually? कि क्या करने से होता है या क्या नहीं करने से होता है? So most of my patients, the number one um, disease that hits your kidney is diabetes. Mm-hmm. And you know, my desi, you may bought sorry. There's a lot of diabetes, right? There's the whole, diabetes. yeah. So, uh, uh, and and it's our 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 food is so carbohydrate rich based, right? Our our sweets are delicious, right? In, in Indian khane mein. So, um, and of course, overweight ki problem hai. देसीज में चावल रोटी आलू दैट इज एंड स्पेशलीफ्यूरिंगडीजीज you can get kidney disease and it is very common i see okay. yes mm-hmm. hmm and do, uh, i'm going to go ahead and ask her about this question uh, do you see more men in general as your patients or um, do you see more women you know i see more men men yes mm. i see more men um, i have more men dialysis patients than women uh, and i think that is a consensus throughout the the country as well um so that men yes men i women tend to live longer they're healthier you see them less in the hospital i don't know why i don't, I don't know <laughs> maybe we just get so strong from having all these kids i don't know right. <laughs> and and I think our body is like strong by then and taking care of the hubbies yeah exactly so so you know and we're always active hum to kuch karte rehte hain right chores at at home so so yes so, uh, men are sicker men have more heart attacks than women mm-hmm. men have more high blood pressure um diabetes than women Uh, another thing I wanted to mention is uh, that you know another thing that we see from kidney disease a lot is is medication use mm-hmm. um, and 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 you know I see a lot of people that oh my god headache I'm just going to take an Advil or or Tylenol I mean or sorry or Motrin uh, but no don't please these non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs like Aleve Motrin ibuprofen Advil uh, naproxen uh, they can cause kidney damage and it could be just two pills because you can have something called acute interstitial nephritis mm-hmm. uh which is you're just alert it can cause an allergy in your kidney again no symptoms until you can't breathe and you're not urinating yeah. and you come to the hospital and they're like you need dialysis wow you know and it might be acute meaning you know it is fixable with steroids 
But if you don't know when it's going on, you know, that could damage your kidney permanently. Uh, and ibuprofen can cause chronic kidney disease, especially if you're taking it for, you know, regularly. It's a 600 milligrams, low glit, 800 milligrams, because yeah. the pain doctors have given them or their internist has given them for back pain. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. but, you know, so don't do that. Drink a lot of water. Um, do you go inside the, the hot sauna? It's really good, good for you know to sweat and and help with muscle aches and pains. And Tylenol is if you really have to take a medication, Tylenol is much safer, much safer. Um, more people have kidney diseases than liver issues, so Tylenol is always your your choice if you have a headache or anything like that. I'm personally guilty and today uh, I feel really bad but I'm going to be very careful about this because I think Sushil always makes fun ki I think Adwil Adwil walo ka jo business chal raha hai wo shayad hamare ghar ke wajah se chal raha hai but I'm going to be very careful about this uh, and you know um, I'm going to take your advice good, really good. really seriously on this uh, you you spoke about fixable uh, I know we have about 6 uh, minutes left but this is a really important question uh, एक बार किसी को किडनी इश्यूज हो जाते हैं किडनी डिजीज एज सच हो जाती है इज इट रिवर्सिबल सो वी हैव टू कैटेगरीज वी हैव अक्यूट किडनी फेलियर व्हिच इज रिवर्सिबल वी हैव chronic kidney disease which is not reversible so if you have kidney problems for even over 3 months or 4 months we now call that chronic kidney disease oh. because that blood test that we do and we check your BUN and your creatinine level mm-hmm. uh is not going down and if it consistently stays up for over 3 months now you're in that in that stage of what we call chronic kidney disease and those vary from stages 2 to 5 mm-hmm. okay stage 2 is when you're still like 80% kidney function um uh, nobody has 100% kidney function except again our pregnant ladies because everything okay. is bigger and better <laughs> when you're pregnant um and then so 60 to is when you go around 60 to 80% um that is now your now chronic kidney disease um stage stage 3 and then 30 to 60 and then we have 15 to 15 to 20 and you know when you're under 15% now you're say CKD5 uh mm-hmm. when you're closer to dialysis mm-hmm. uh in our diabetics um there's no magical number but almost you know a kidney function of 12% uh, they they require dialysis so 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 oh. you know oh. yeah and and they, and that number can go from 60 to 30 very fast uh mm-hmm. so so if you have um if you've been told uh that you have kidney issues please come see me uh and my job is not to put you on dialysis okay unless you need it my job is to keep you away from dialysis as long as possible Okay and you can stay on your chronic kidney disease uh, 30 to 60% uh for 20 30 years if you follow a nephrologist closely Perfect thank you for sharing that um abhi abhi jaise jab aap bata rahe the to Vijay Dikshit ji ka message aaya that he also worships ibuprofen Vijay ji that's why we have doctor namrata aaj ke baad hum dono kasam lete hain ki hum aise nahi karenge and we will stay away from it and uh, you know look towards uh, more natural remedies for uh, all those issues and if you have any issues reach out to dr namrata now dr namrata please share with all our listeners our viewers how they can get your appointment and aap kahan kahan milti hain of course i have uh, two major locations one in the medical center and one in sugarland for our desi desi patients so very convenient locations uh, and if you want to see me in in uh, in the medical center um that's also we you know we're there we're there as well and you know point are easily available and if you really have to see me please call me 713-520-6875 if you are worried about your kidneys or high blood pressure um or you know just if you just want to do a blood test because you don't know what your what your kidney numbers are uh we can do that as well perfect so that's 713 आप अपॉइंटमेंट ले सकते हैं एंड यू कैन गो एंड मीट डॉक्टर नम्रता फॉर एनी इशूज यू हैव और इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट गो एंड कंसल्ट एंड टॉक टू हर बिफोर यू गेट इन टू दोज इशूज राइट सुशील डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर डॉक्टर नम्रता बिफोर वी लेट हर गो टूडे नो आई डोंट हैव एनी मोर क्वेश्चन बट द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट यू गिव डॉक्टर नम्रता इट वॉज वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड आई होप अ लॉट ऑफ अवर लिसनर्स बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दैट एज वेल सो गाइज डू टेक दिस वेरी 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 सीरियसली स्पेशली ब्लड प्रेशर इशूज Uh, just a minute but I came had one of my friends who collapsed and later he found out that he had blood pressure issues um, dr namrata said headaches number 
uh, constant headaches uh, that's a cause do get your regular checkups from your GP and if you have any concerns questions do make an appointment with Dr. Namada Sharma Goel and of course one thing like she mentioned it's a killer disease we say oh diabetes is okay because that's in our community is very prevalent but actually even I didn't know that was a that could cause kidney issues number one cause yes I had no idea so today is something I learned as well so guys अगर मुझे नहीं पता तो आई एम प्रीश्योर आपको भी नहीं पता होगा सो बी बी वेरी विजिलेंट एंड बी वेरी केयरफुल एब्सोल्युटली एंड नाउ डॉक्टर नम्रता वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर और सम यू नो पार्टिंग वर्ड्स एंड कोई टिप्स आपकी एक्स्ट्रा <laughs> thank you both for having me here today and thank you listeners for listening um thank you for all the questions they were very very good questions um please get your booster if you haven't gotten so um it's going to be time for the fourth booster so wow. so be protected um try to stay home but you know if you're going out please wear a mask and sanitize your hands hand washing is very important Perfect. Thank you so much Dr. Namrata for always supporting Namaste Radio and uh, you know every time you come here we have so much fun and such great insights on uh, you know healthy living basically. So that that was uh, Dr. Namrata Sharma Goel. Uh, she's a nephrologist uh, but she has all these answers that you can directly meet her. Again main unka number de sakti hu 713 520-6875. She is uh, a philanthropist. She has a heart of gold, uh, supporting various charity organizations in uh, Houston. So thank you so much for everything you do, Dr. Namrata. Personally, मैं आपकी you know I really 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 admire all these things जो आप करते हो you know professionally भी or on a personal level. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you everybody and namaste. So thank you guys to everybody like Dr. Namrata said the questions were great we uh, love it when you all come on uh, Facebook or uh, you know you text messages or you WhatsApp us with your messages thank you so much bahut hi informative uh, session tha we enjoyed the show today if you all did too please give us feedback agar aapko kuch nahi bhi pasand aaya please bataiye ga zarur so that we can improve for the next time you can message us on Namaste Radio's Facebook page don't forget to follow follows on facebook and instagram namaste radio and you can always always uh, email us on namaste radio3 at gmail.com but the best way is follow us on facebook and instagram namaste radio every saturday subah 10 se 12 uh, social aap jaane se pehle kuch kehna chahenge we'll see you next week <laughs> I'm kidding. Haste rahiye, muskurate rahiye, jeevan ek khoobsurat sa sangeet hai, us pe sur sajate rahiye. Take care of yourself, be very vigilant, take care of your neighbors, very important. Aas paas safai banaye rakhein. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much everybody. Always, always stay positive and focus only on the positive of others and yourself. Or dusro ki zindagi mein interest mat dikhaiye, apni zindagi mein interest rakhiye. That was my tip of the week. We will see you next Saturday at 10 a.m. on Facebook Live, Namaste Radio, and 99.5 FM. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who tuned in today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. Bye, bye. Namaste. Namaste.